Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another review video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a review on a small digital voltmeter that was sent to me by Drock. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. First off, I'd like to thank Drock for sending me this voltmeter to review. Their website is www.droking.com and they can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube. Their online store is posted on Amazon as well. They are a globally wide company which specializes in DC power supply components such as voltage regulators, converters, voltmeters, ammeters, and more. I've also posted a link to this product in the description below. When I received this product, I must say it was incredibly well packed and this appears to be a very common practice from when I researched other products people had purchased from them as well. What I have here today is a waterproof digital DC voltmeter which operates between the volts of 2.5 and 30. This particular model I have here today has a red LED display but they can also be purchased in blue and green. As you can see it also includes a black and red double conductor molded pigtail on the back side. On the top of the meter there is also some information printed such as the company name, operating voltage, and input wires. Here's some photos of the size comparison between a 9 volt battery. The information they have listed on their site as follows. Measure range, DC 2.5 to 30 volts. Minimum input, DC 2.5 volts. Maximum input, DC 30 volts. Permissible error, 1%, plus or minus, one digit. Its accuracy is 0 0.01 volts when less than 10 volts, and 0 0.1 volts when more than 10 volts. The display is 3.4 inch, LED digital tubes. Refresh rate is about 200 milliseconds. Current consumption about 5 to 20 milliamps. Operating temperature minus 10 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. Now as for added descriptions they also have listed. It sits in an epoxy case. It is waterproof, anti-oil, moisture proof, shock proof, and dust proof. Connect the red wire to the positive pole of measured voltage and the black wire to the negative pole of measured voltage. It requires low voltage to start working which is more convenient for lithium and 18650 battery users. Its digital point is movable in accordance with your measured voltage. Specifically, it will display two digits after the decimal point when the voltage is less than 10 volts and display one digit after the decimal point when the voltage is more than 10 volts. Also for added notes listed on their website, the product does not need a power supply, can measure between 2.5 to 30 volts directly. If the input voltage is below 3.5 volts, the display brightness dims. If the input voltage is below 2.5 volts, measuring inaccurate or no display. If the measurement is below 10 volts, accuracy is to 0 0.01 volts. If the measurement is 10 volts or more, accuracy to 0.1 volts. Please do not use the meter in 24 volt battery applications because when the battery is fully charged, its voltage will be about 30 volts, the maximum input voltage for this meter. And we don't suggest that you do use the maximum output voltage of 30 volts. According to what has been listed on their website, the dimensions of the unit is 40 by 25 by 23 millimeters. And the whole requirement for this component to snap into place is 37 by 20 millimeters. Now I have verified these measurements myself and they are correct. Next I'll be doing a test on a car battery. First the car is not running. As you can see there is a slight difference in the voltage between the multimeter and voltmeter but the permissible error is correct to what has been listed on this particular product. Throughout the test I started the car, allowed the meter to run for a period of time, cycled the alternator with and without loads and the meter does function excellent. The refresh rate is also very quick as well. For this particular test I was using alligator clamp jumper cables. The meter pigtails have not been soldered or I did not add crimp connectors. I have also done an amp test to determine what type of draw would be expected and to see if it was in accordance with the product specifications, and it is. The meter draws 20 milliamps. The meter is listed as being waterproof, which only applies to the face, as it can't be fully submerged due to the contacts being exposed on the backside. I have decided to put that to the test as well, with no issues whatsoever. For this test, I was using a 9 volt battery. For the final two tests, I'm also using a 9 volt battery. The first test being the voltage accuracy, which is within the product specifications listed. Lastly, I wanted to test the brightness in the dark, at what point the meter dims, and what voltage it would stop operating at. I have hooked up the potentiometer, starting at a full voltage of the 9 volt battery and slowly turning it down. At about 3.5 volt it does dim slightly which is correct by the product specifications. The meter is also listed to stop reading at 2.5 volts. I found this particular meter to stop at 2.45 volts. Anything below that the digits will remain at zero until it goes down low enough where the digits start to dim and then finally turn off. Lastly I will be doing a voltage accuracy test on the 9 volt battery to determine what the permissible error is for anything under 10 volts and as you can see it is within the specifications they do list online. Overall the product is very well made, compact, easy to rear during the day and night, very affordable, and functions excellent. In the description below I have included a list of applications that I can think of for this product, but it isn't limited to what I have posted. This concludes the rest of my review video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, if you have purchased this product as well in the past and would like to share your experience, please do so. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.